Hello Xer Solutionist. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, is all about generic delegates and event successor. This is a sample output of the program. This is the main interface of the program. It has labels, text boxes, combo box, and a button. This program is about a calculator that calculates the two integers with operators picked in combo box from user and calculated by calculate button event. We created a class. And the class has Name space calculate application. We initialize generic delegate T return type, name is formula T return type, with two parameter of the T return type, name is arg1 and arg2. Unlike to the delegate this generic delegate are not bound to any return type, it can refer to methods with different return types. This class name is calculator class. Inside of the class, we declared the generic delegate formula's double return type name as a formula. And we create a method for us to return a value to our delegate. The double return type, get some method, a parameter of double return type num1 and num2, and return value of num1 num2 that, added by using an additional operator. The double return type, get different method, a parameter of double return type num1 and num2, and return value of num1 num2 that, subtracted by using subtraction operator. The double return type, get product a parameter of double return type num1 and num2, and return value of num1 num2 that, multiplied by using multiplication operator. The double return type, get quotient, a parameter of double return type num1 and num2, and return value of num1 num2 that, divided by using subtraction operator. And a public static access modifier. As you can see, we created a delegate event accessor double return type name as calculate event. Event Accessor has two methods the Add and Remove. As you can see we declared Add and Remove method inside of the event. This method has a statement to print if it used. And an Event Accessor using plus equals to add and dash equals to remove operator, to allow an event to add and remove the event to the class. Like in this example, we use the event. For you to understand it more, let's run our program. In this, we will learn how it works. After setting the value, we click the button event, and it will execute the add method, and then if the button is clicked again the remove method will be executed. After understanding how to add it to remove works later you will learn how to implement them. We have also a memory space of calculate application. We initialize the constructor for our calculator class name as cal. And double data type names as num1 and num2. This is our main class form calculator. Then we create an event button on click name as button equal click. Inside of the event, we declared the variables num1 and num2 that equal to text box input 1 and text box input 2, which is converted to a double data type argument. And after adding value to num1 and num2, we create a conditional statement of nested else if. If combo box operator selected index was equal to 0, 0 index was equal to addition operator. We call the constructor name cal, and call its method event name as calculate event, plus equals to the delegate formula double return type, a parameter of calculator class dot get sum. This code is to validate the event add method if it add a value to our delegate formula which is from the get method the add method will print. And then, we call the calculator class method to get sum with parameters of num1 and num2 to be summed up by the method function inside of the class, and display its result equal to level display total. Then after displaying the value of the method in the level, if a user wants to calculate another then the button event is clicked this will be executed. We call the constructor name cal, and call its method event name as calculate event, dash equals to the delegate formula double return type parameter of calculator class dot get sum. This code is to validate the event remove method, if it remove a value to our delegate formula which is from the get method, then remove method will print. It look like this. 
Thus, if combo box operator selected index is equal to 1, one index is a call to subtraction operator. We call the constructor name cal, and call its method event name as calculate event, plus equals to the delegate formula double return type, a parameter of calculator class dot get sum. This code is to validate the event add method if it add a value to our delegate formula which is from the get method the add method will print. And then, we call the calculator class method to get difference with parameters of num1 and num2 to be subtracted by the method function inside of the class, and display its result equal to level display. Code. Then after displaying the value of the method in the level, if a user wants to calculate another then the button event is click this will be executed. We call the constructor name cal, and call its method event name as calculate event, dash equals to the delegate formula double return type parameter of calculator class dot get sum. This code is to validate the event remove method, if it remove a value to our delegate formula which is from the get method, then remove method will print. Same as to the other condition, but they are different calculation value to display. Like for the next condition. Else if combo box operator selected index is equal to 2, 2 index is equal to multiplication operator. We call the event calculator plus equals to call out method accessor then parameter of class method get product and print out delegate and then we call the calculator class method get product with a parameter of num1 and num2 to be multiplied by the method function inside of the class and display its result equal to level display total then after displaying the value of the method in the level if a user wants to calculate another then the button event is click this will be executed we call the event calculator dash equals to call remove method accessor then the parameter of class method get product and print remove delegate else if combo box operator selected index is equal to 3 3 index is equal to division operator we call the event calculator plus equals to call out method accessor then parameter of class method get quotient and print out delegate and then, we call the calculator class method get product with parameters of num1 and num2 to be divided by the method function inside of the class, and display its result equal to level display total. Then after displaying the value of the method in the level, if a user wants to calculate another then the button event is click this will be executed. We call the event calculator, dash equals to call remove method accessor then parameter of class method get quotient, and print remove delegate. For you to understand more the methods, method gave a calculation to the event like this. That's all, hope you understand it more. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more chat me on the links in my description below.